I'm here to answer some of the most common questions we get about Valentine's Day gift cards. I'm Shelly Hunter, gift card girlfriend, and my goal is to help consumers pick out the best gift card for every occasion and use the full value of the gift cards you already own. In this video, I'm answering the most common questions I get around Valentine's Day gift cards. In the show notes, I listed the questions that I'm gonna answer so you can just go to the question you want asked today. All right, so let's get to it. These are questions I've been asked about Valentine's Day gift cards. The first one is, can I give an Amazon gift card for Valentine's Day? And of course you can. Amazon is a super popular gift card because it can use, be used to redeem so many things. I love that about it. But if you're going to give an Amazon gift card, if you give one that you get at the grocery store, for example, then it's going to be a plastic gift card. If you give one online from amazon.com, then they have tons of choices to choose from, both in terms of their design and the delivery options. So I like both. If you're going to mail somebody an Amazon gift card, then it's just as easy to go to amazon.com and pick out a plastic or an e-gift card and have it delivered right away. It'll get there super fast, which I love, and securely as well with a choice of designs. But if you're going to do it yourself, there are a ton of printable down, um, gift card holders that you can download and print at home. They say things like, I hope your day is amazing, like Amazon, a play on words, um, but lots of choices there. So look for Amazon gift card free printable gift card holder and you'll find some choices. Second question is, can I give somebody a Chipotle gift card for Valentine's Day? And of course you can as well, especially if that person likes Chipotle. So again, what I would suggest is you tie the gift card into the theme. For example, you might say, I love you more than Taco Tuesday, or you are burrito full, beautiful, burrito full, you know, there's a play on words there too. Um, you're the salsa to my guacamole. Just give it a reason that you're giving somebody a Chipotle gift card. As you're gonna find in this uh, video, I think any gift card can be turned into a thoughtful Valentine's Day gift with the right words. So keep watching, I'll show you some more ideas. Okay, can I give a Starbucks gift card for Valentine's Day? Yes, on my blog, I actually have a set of printables that you can use for Starbucks as well. These are great, they say things like, I love you a latte or you mocha me happy. Um, what I like about this, again, if somebody likes Starbucks, then it's a great gift card that you can give, buy the plastic, tuck it into the free printable, and that will be a perfectly great gift to give somebody. What is the best gift card to give somebody for Valentine's Day? Well, that depends on the recipient. I'll tell you some things I like. I love personalized gift cards. I actually used to buy these and give them to people before I became the spokesperson for giftcards.com. With a custom gift card, you can upload a picture and turn it into a Visa or MasterCard gift card that's usable almost anywhere. You're gonna pay a few extra dollars as you would with any Visa gift card, but if you order it at giftcards.com, then you can have it shipped securely as well. Now, I like for Valentine's Day, a picture of you as a couple. Maybe it's a picture from your first date. Um, just something, it can be a selfie, it can be silly, it can be fun. What I have found is that people hold on to this gift card long after the money has been redeemed. So I know that people enjoy this gift card. If you don't wanna do a Visa gift card, then you should also check out the multi-store gift cards. These are all over the place now. They're usable at a handful of stores and restaurants shown on the card. So what I like about this gift card is you get a little more flexibility, but you don't have to pay extra. There's no activation fee and there's no expiration dates to worry about. So what you wanna do is find one that has a message you want to deliver. There's a retail therapy gift card, for example. So if you're saying, look, honey, you need a break, or to your girlfriends, I wanna send you a retail therapy gift card, let's all do this for Galentine's Day or something like that. So that's a fun gift card. There's a treat yourself, there's cheers to you, there's some different ones. Anyway, look at the grocery store and I'll sh put a link on this as well that you can see them at giftcards.com. If you buy them in the grocery store, you're gonna get a physical card that you can hand to somebody. If you do it at giftcards.com, it's going to be an e-gift card that you email to somebody. And then what they'll do is swap it for the store or restaurant they wanna use the card at. So thirdly, pick a store or restaurant that you know the Valentine, your Valentine loves, but tie a message with it. So if you are going to buy a DSW gift card for somebody who's a shoe lover, you might say something like, 
a shoe lover gift card for my Valentine lover, or I love you more than I love sneakers with a gift card to Nike, or I love you and you love the rack, so let's go shopping together. Something like that, just tie it in. If you tie the gift card in to your thoughts and feelings for that person, then it becomes a thoughtful gift. I really believe any gift card can be made a thoughtful gift with the right words. So even a gas station gift card, for example, you could give somebody a gas station gift card and write the words, I would go anywhere with you, or I am enjoying journeying through this life with you. Anything like that makes that gas station gift card go from just a gift card to buy gas to, I really see this going the distance. See that? That works good. Okay. So the best gift card for your Valentine is something that they can use anywhere or something specific to them with the right message. Can I get a Target gift card for Valentine's Day? Of course, who doesn't love Target? I love Target. Most people love Target. Again, the words are going to matter. I would say something like, let's see, Cupid's arrow really hit the Target when I found you or something like that. Now I've taken a Target gift card and I've made it super personal and um, really great for Valentine's Day. Okay, this one is funny. It says, can I get a Valentine's Day gift card template? I think what they're asking about is gift card printables. So do a search for that and you'll find more choices. On my blog, I have plenty of Valentine's printables, but here's my tip for that. Almost all of those, in fact, all of the ones that you're going to see on my blog, I actually downloaded and then I print them over at Staples or UPS store or any other office supply store. I do this for a couple of reasons. It only costs about a dollar. I don't have to use my ink cartridge at home and I can usually get cardstock paper and it turns it into just kind of a more upscale gift. For a dollar, I can email that to an office supply store, get it printed, then I bring it home and cut it and craft it up and make it cute. But if you're looking for Valentine's Day gift card templates, I think you mean printables. And you can find, I'll, I'll put a link in the show notes, but you can find plenty of those online as well. Use the word printable instead. Same question basically. This question is, where can I get Valentine's Day gift cards free download? Again, I think you mean printables, or if you actually meant not a gift card, but just Valentine's that I want to print, like take to school or something, look for free printable Valentine's Day gift card holders or free printable Valentine's gifts or cards, I would say. But either way, use my tip. Go print them off at an office supply store, much cheaper. Speaking of that, this question is, where can I save on Valentine's Day gift cards or are there any Valentine's Day gift card promotions? Yes, it used to be the gift cards were only on sale maybe around the holidays, but you know, as stores have realized this is a great way to get people in shopping, it's become more of a marketing tool. So at every major holiday, Valentine's, Father's Day, Mother's Day, etc., I expect to see deals on gift cards. So if you go to the grocery store, for example, you'll probably see at the end cap where the kiosk is, you might see some promotional offers there. It will be something like buy $100 in gift cards and you get extra fuel perks or something like that. So check that out. Another thing is stores and restaurants often will have a BOGO of their own. Buy this gift card, get a free promotional gift card. Check those out, but know this. Promotional gift cards are subject to expiration dates or a particular use time. So it might be something like only usable in the next month. So just make sure you check those um, stipulations before taking advantage of that gift card BOGO. Look on giftcards.com forward slash promotions and giftcardmall.com forward slash promotions as well for other deals. And honestly, sign up for the newsletters and things of the places you like to buy gift cards at because that's where you can find deals as well. This one says, what are some of the best Valentine's Day gift card messages? Well, I'm a fan of the pun, right? So I like making that gift card look purposeful. I feel like if I give somebody a bookstore gift card and they like books, they will appreciate that, sure. But if I say something like, happy Valentine's Day to my little book lover, now it has become, I know you well enough to know you love books. And then I would go the extra mile and I would make homemade bookmarks or I would 
get a cute bookmark or you know take a picture of the two of us together and laminate that into a bookmark and I would tuck it into another book maybe something that I picked out or just something off the shelf that you know just helps give it a little presentation now you went from buying a bookstar gift card to giving a really sweet Valentine's Day gift I like this one, how to make a Valentine's Day gift card bouquet. So I love this. One of my most popular blog posts is a blog post that shows various like gift card wreaths and gift card trees and gift card bouquets. But it's really quite simple. You can get fancy, and I'll put a link to this in the show notes. You can get fancy with really elaborate, but it's just as easy to buy either a bouquet of flowers and then take that little card that usually holds a greeting card and tuck a gift card in that instead of the greeting card or get like a house plant um, or like a potted plant and then you can clip gift cards all around that as well you can use ribbon little clothes pins cute little paper clips you can just clip gift cards to that and it's a really fun gift so i like that um Flowers can be kind of expensive this time of year, but I love to get a succulent and you could write something like my life doesn't suck now that you're in it or Valentine's sucks, but no, that's a bad one. Don't do that. But just something that that makes that gift feel more personal. Ah, this is a good one. Valentine's Day gift cards for teachers. Our teachers work really hard and especially this past year. So one thing to know is that you can't give a gift card to a teacher that is over a certain dollar amount and each school district will have that amount. It cannot be enough that it is con could be construed as a bribe. <laughs> like give my son an A because I'm giving you this gift card, but a token gesture. So your Starbucks, your Jamba Juice, wherever the drink is around town that they like to shop at or Target, super popular for teachers as well. Get a simple gift card and that's where you can use like that printable thanks a latte. There's so many cute things on Pinterest that you can download for teachers, but um, just add a heartfelt note. Really, that's all you need to do is add a heartfelt note. Thanks for making a difference in my child's life. I will end with this question. What is the best Valentine's gift cards for her? And then also what is the best Valentine's Day gift cards for him? So the thing is, Gender isn't really what matters here. What matters is what that person, what their likes and interests are, where they like to shop, how they like to spend their time. Think about that and then get a gift card that works. So if your Valentine likes to shop, then you're looking at clothing stores or department stores. If your Valentine likes to hike, then maybe REI, Cabela's or Dick's Sporting Goods. If your Valentine likes to read, you're looking at a bookstore gift card. Think about where, the, where your Valentine likes to spend your time. Now, here's the thing. Maybe you're thinking, well, I'll get dinner and movie and we're gonna go to dinner and movie. That's okay, except that's a bit of a gift card for you as well. So if you want to get a dinner and a movie gift card for your Valentine because the message is we need to spend more time together or I would like to go out with you or this is some alone time for us, then great, great message, do that. But if it is for the Valentine, think about their experience. And again, consider those multi-choice gift cards. The reason I say that is, let's say you wanna get a Grubhub gift card. Maybe your Valentine is stressed and you wanna be able to make sure they have dinner delivered a couple times a week. Great idea, right? Maybe super time-saving and super thoughtful. But there's also a multi-store gift card that has Grubhub on it. So you may be thinking food delivery and the recipient may say, actually, I'd rather have a new pair of tennis shoes. So with a multi-store gift card, they can choose Grubhub or they can choose something else on it. Again, gender doesn't matter as much. It's not about a Valentine for him or a Valentine for her. Really, what does my Valentine want? And then making that happen. Okay, I'm Gift Card Girlfriend. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. I will share tips like this all year long. And if you have other questions about gift cards, put them in the comments below because I do look at those and I will answer you as best I can. Happy Valentine's Day.